All right, um, so this one is for James Thomas. Um, the problem that I see right off the bat is that you've got no real sense of uh, one, depth, and two, perspective. Um, and, and the reason I say that is because um, if you look at things here, let's just go here. So if you look at things this way, uh, you've got you've got the background here, but you've got no real sense of how things are are kind of leveled leveled and layered together. Um, you have this foreground here, this foreground element here, which I see. You have this foreground element here. You've got this foreground element here, which is all good. But then what the problem is is you're putting this foreground element in when this would probably be about the same one here, um, which is which is a good layering, good composition. But then the problem I see is that this goes straight back. And you've with that line, you've almost like cut your 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 landscape and created a focal point to kind of draw the eye away, especially when it continues and the light comes up. So I really don't keep my eye on the piece. And to fix this, what you want to do is keep layering that composition. So keep putting in um, more depth and more feeling like so um, and then layering that and that's going to give me a kind of a, a better feeling of my comp of your composition and it's not anything major it's just this subtle aspect um, that you're 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 kind of going with and then back here you, you you have almost like a flat wall going on so what I would say right off the bat is uh, you want to separate things and you want to adjust them so that that it makes a lot more sense. The other aspect too is if you're you're going from this standpoint, you want to separate. You almost want to take and break apart. Um, like you've got this this dull uh, light here, and so you almost want to darken this whole segment like this. And then if your light is coming from that source, you want to see a shadow on the ground. Um, and you want to see depth of that shadow there. So that what happens is I start getting a sense of uh, more interaction. And you know, basically putting in things like that that's going to really sell the piece a lot better. And then with the black sky, of course, the black sky basically says to me that it's nighttime, but yet you've got this blinding light. So, you know, you're if you're going to do the black sky, then you can do, um, then you want to go in there and uh, basically change this. Uh, let's grab a a little bit subtler blue. You know, you want to add in and get rid of that black tone. You know, and you can still have dark. You know, maybe it's a dark cloud or whatnot. Um, but you can still have dark in there. It's just you don't want to have that solid black. And then with the blinding light that you do have, uh, what you want to do is you want to start adding a little bit of a rim uh, lighting to it. So in this case, what I would do is I'd pick this orange and then subtly start building up shadows and you know different different contrasts so that it separates your elements a little bit more. And you can see here just by doing a little bit, starts pulling out the foreground background elements and let's maybe even 
and that's going to kind of sell your piece a little bit more as well um, especially if you know you're looking at the foreground elements here and you want to get a little bit darker shadows and so this light is coming down from this this peak and you want to develop these these darks like so and then put in more of the whites and this is where these tonal values really sell your 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 piece as a whole and not only that but the lights will start unifying and the darks will start blending in your colors so as you as you start doing this just by by doing that I start getting much more sense of form going on oops this. you know and and I'm grabbing more more of that sense of form more sense of you know what's going on as far as the feeling goes um, I'm getting a better laying layering effect uh, and from there you you're getting shadows you're getting that sense of of depth a lot more um, and then because this light you might even want to add in some places where the light is actually popping um, so you know maybe if you're on the rock basin um, maybe just you know subtle highlights but where the undercut of the rock is reflecting from the water um, and you want to add in you know those depths and those colors and that um, and that's kind of those small breakup spots are going to help you focus more into the center. Um, so that's kind of the things that I would do. I mean, I, I've got a lot more to go, you'd have a lot more to go on. Um, but as you can see, just by adding in that, you start blending up your layers a little bit more and putting in more of your dark shadows and building up a sense of, of, layering and focal into that centerpiece um, but the big thing I think is you know at this point is define the define the, uh, the shapes a little bit more um, and I think that's going to really push and sell what you're trying to trying to accomplish here all right I hope that helps